Hi, I just wanted to come on here and talk about how on the twin flame journey, at some point, the Kundalini activation will occur. And what does that mean? And um, what is taking place there? And how is it relevant to the twin flame journey? So I just wanted to discuss this a little bit. So uh, I'm coming from the perspective of a divine feminine. And essentially, um, your kundalini energy that is laying dormant uh, at the base of the spine uh, will awaken. It is uh, Shakti's energy, which is the divine feminine. Everyone uh, that is born on earth has this, this energy um, there laying dormant within, within them. If the soul is ready, um, this, this force will awaken, which essentially um, is divine prana, divine energy that begins to awaken in the base of your spine. And this is Shakti awakening. And so Shakti, and we must become Shakti. That's what we, this is another part of what I want to talk about today is that the divine feminines, once this energy awakens, because we are made in the image of Shakti, we must become Shakti. This is what is happening. We are, uh, we are embodying the energy of Shakti, who is the divine mother of all. She is the, um, the feminine energy uh, the cosmic feminine energy is what she is. And uh, she lays dormant and she awakens. And uh, what she does, she, she is, um, of course, uh, her energy is very protective. It is very caring. Um, it's very warm. It's a very kind energy as a divine feminine. But what happens when she awakens in there... See, she's on a, she becomes, uh, she starts a mission. And what she does once she awakens is she starts working her way slowly up through each of the chakras along that spine. And as she, as she does this, she becomes Kali, one of her other personas. Now, Kali is a warrior. She is a fierce warrior. And what she does is she goes through each of these chakras, starting at the very base chakra. And she goes in there and she destroys ruthlessly, without mercy, destroys every form of negativity, of evil. She goes into the chakras and starts cutting it out. She starts cutting evil and destroying all this darkness and this evil, deeply cleaning and cleansing each chakra. And so she goes in there. So if there's any impurities, if there's anything negative, anything shadowy, anything evil, anything dark, she ruthlessly, like a warrior, cuts it out of your life. And she works her way, and she's dancing as she does this. She's not just, uh, you know, she's she's got this energy, and she's in this trance. She goes in a trance, and she's cutting, and she's dancing, and she is fierce. And she's what she's doing is she starts where she had awoken and starts to go up each chakra, cleansing and clearing. And Shiva, the divine masculine, he is asleep in a very meditative state of mind and he sits in the crown chakra and she is working her way up to her divine lover Shiva is her divine mate and she is working her way up to him and as she's working her way up through each chakra cutting and clearing all evil all negativity all uh, anything shadowy she finally makes her way up to Shiva who is in a very deep 
meditative sleep state. And she is there to awaken him now when she makes it to the crown chakra. And what she does is she dances around Shiva slowly to get his attention. She now becomes, she comes back into her uh, Shakti persona. So she's back to this beautiful uh, goddess with this warmth, this kindness, this loveliness. And she is now she is slowly walking around him and he is still in a deep meditative state, deeply asleep. And she just smiles and she walks around him slowly and very feminine. And he starts to sense her presence and he slowly starts to, uh, you know, very just gently, his eye begins to open very slowly and he starts to become more and more awake and more and more conscious and she continues to just smile and walk around him and eventually he comes into full um, consciousness he is fully awake now and he embraces Shakti and then they consummate their love this divine love and this is the story of the twin flames because we are made in the image of these personas of this energy and this is the twin flame journey and this is why i keep saying it's purification so your kundalini awakens that is the shakti feminine divine feminine energy that's what it is and when that awakens within you this is where that warrior happens and this is somewhere within that stage of surrender when we surrender to this you see we have to surrender to this journey and what it's truly about and it's truly about purification it's about purifying those impurities when they're speaking of evil it's like what is what are those things that we need to cut out of our lives either physically or energetically that are of a darker and healthier nature to make our way up to our to clear all those energetic pathways basically you know you have to work your way all the way up through them cleaning and clearing them and when you get to the top you're up at the top where the divine masculine is and that's when he awakens so he is asleep to this. It is, it is the divine feminine who is really the one who is the leader spiritually who goes through this very transformative process of purification. And it is through that process that he awakens. Um, and then this, you know, this magic happens of this soul really coming into oneness and in purity. But we must go through that process. So um, if you are a true twin flame, this is essentially what the journey is about. And the constant coming together with your twin flame and the separating is because we need to go through the process of purifying our ourselves and to um, go let allow this process to happen so it, it is essential that you awaken this that it does awaken and it will awaken um, at some point if it has not awakened yet it will at some point awaken and begin this very powerful process and when your kundalini does awaken uh, and it is doing the cleansing part it even though it you know she's got her knife out and she's cutting it's actually a very uh nice feeling it doesn't feel bad because you're because what you're doing is you're removing it's cleaning out so you feel cleaner, you feel lighter. It doesn't hurt, it's not painful um, in any way. It, it's just, a you feel cleaner, 
you feel cleaner, you feel lighter, you feel more in line with your purpose, you feel more like your higher self has come through. Each time she moves up through the chakras and cleans one of them out, you, like I say, you feel lighter, you feel more in alignment, you feel more um, in tune with your purpose. Everything starts to flow more because the energy centers, you know, in our chakras are now flowing in the correct way because oftentimes they are actually not only, um, you know, it's one thing that a chakra is blocked, but it's even worse when it's maybe spinning in the wrong direction, which can happen. So, you know, when these chakras are out of balance, um, it really does wreak havoc on our you know our lives and this is definitely going to affect your twin flame journey if your chakras are out of balance the more clean they are the more in balance they are the more they're spinning in the correct direction creating these vortexes uh, creating alignment in all aspects of your of your life it is only going to benefit your twin flame journey and it's only going to bring you closer together and bring you closer to union but you can you have to be patient you have to be patient so even if your kundalini has awakened and you are going through this process you have to give that time and um, there will be signs of this you know especially you know the divine masculine will come in stronger you know, the more that these chakras get cleaned out. But you do have to allow the process to really do what it needs to do. We can be in such a rush to get to union that we forget that this is a journey and you are meant to um, live in the present moment and to enjoy the journey. Each little aspect of this journey and really get the most out of it. Don't rush through it. Take your time. Spend time with Shakti. Get to know her. Get to know that energy. Start to embody Shakti's energy. And the more that you embody Shakti's energy and go through the process of becoming not only Shakti, but Kali, who cuts out everything that is negative and evil, the, it is the closer that you come to uh, Shiva and, and him awakening and him becoming his, him embodying the divine masculine's energy. So um, I just wanted to speak about that briefly, um, just talking about, um, you know, the correlation really between the Kundalini awakening that is um, a part of this twin flame journey and also understanding that storyline of Shakti and Shiva and how they their story is our story because we are made in that image and we are uh, it's the same blueprint so you know we are divine as well we have a divine nature. Our soul is divine. We have physical bodies, but we have a divine soul, and we need to learn to harmonize these aspects. And when you incarnate at the same time as your twin flame, who is your soul incarnated into another body walking around at the same time, that is very profound. That is awakening that is uh, you coming into being a divine human human being not just having your soul being a divine uh, a part of you that is divine that's well everybody's got that correct but you truly embodying that in your physical reality is another story that is you becoming your highest self physically in the 3d and that is profound. So um, anyway, I think I will leave this here for now. And I'm sure I'll discuss a bit more about this at another time. 
But anyway, I hope that was helpful, and I thank you for listening, and I will talk to you later. Bye!